In this lesson, we will learn how to work in Table Design View. Here in my Access database, I have one table that's been created called Table Employees. When I double-click Table Employees, it will display the table that I created in the previous lesson. And I might want to work in a different view from time to time. For example, if you right-click on the Table Employees tab, you'll see the option for Data Sheet View is already selected. So for the first time, I want to introduce the concept of object views. When you are working with objects in Access, you have a view, which is the view that is probably easiest to see the data in. And then you'll also have a view where you can design the different elements. Go ahead and select the design view. And notice that you are now transformed into a different working environment. You have each field listed in the first column. There's a little key next to the primary key field. You'll also see each data type listed in the second column. And you also have the option to add some description to each field. So this is a new feature compared to what you saw in data sheet view. So if I wanted to add information to a table here, which is not completed, I'm going to continue in data sheet view. Underneath employee first name, I'm going to go ahead and add employee last name which if I tab over, will go into the data type column. And then from the data type column, I'll keep it as short text. And then I'll just keep pressing tab. Next, I'll be ready for the next field. I'm going to go ahead and just type in the employee primary phone. And I'll press tab and make sure that is a text field as well. If I wanted to add an additional field in a different location, I can insert rows by selecting the row below where I want the new row. For example, underneath Department ID, I want to create a field called Location ID. In Design View, I can right click and choose Insert Rows. Next, I can select the cell for the new field name, and I'll provide it Location ID, which is also a number field. Now I like the changes that I made to table employees, so I'll go ahead and close the table with this little X over here on the right. It's going to ask me if I want to save the changes to the design of the table. I'm going to click yes. You can also create a table in design view. If you go to the create ribbon in the tables group, you will see that option called Table Design. If you have been using Access for many years, you may have this as your preferred method. In the 2000 and 2003 versions of Access, this is how you created tables by default. When you click on Table Design, you will see field name, data type, everything is blank, and you are going to build the pieces. I am going to save my table first, if I don't save it, it might ask me to later in a window that comes up. So I'm going to right click the tab, table one, then I'll choose save, and I'll call it TBL assets. And then I'll choose OK. Now here's an example of what happens if there is no primary field in the table. I tried to save this table and it says Microsoft Access can't. There are no fields. Define at least one field by entering a field name and selecting a data type. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to follow their instructions. My first field is going to be Asset ID. It's going to be an auto number field. So if I press the letter A, it will take me to that data type. Or I can click on the drop down and manually select it with my mouse. I can also provide a description since I'm here. I'm going to say ID number assigned to each asset at company. And then I'll press Enter. Now, if I wanted to save the table, I can do so now. I'll right click and choose Save. It remembered my name, TBL Assets. I'm going to just click OK. And now I'm being told there is not a primary key. 
It's highly recommended. Now, in this is a now this is a common window that will come up in your database. It gives you a couple options here. A table must have a primary key for you to define relationships between this table and other tables. Do you want to create a primary key now? If you click yes, you will have a auto number field. If you choose no, you can continue as is. So I'm going to choose no, continue as is, but to show you how to create the actual primary key, I'm going to select asset ID. You can select the entire row or just click in the actual field name. And then from the design ribbon in the tools group, click on primary key and you'll see that key has now been assigned to asset ID. You can also right click and choose primary key from the right click menu as well. Let me quickly build the rest of these fields for you. Now I've added my last field, which is the invoice field, which is the data type of attachment. In my assets, I have an invoice for each purchase that I made and I want to scan them in and make them an attachment for each record. So what I'm going to do now is save what I've done, right click the tab and choose save, and right click the tab again and select data sheet view. Here's how the data looks when it's ready for data entry. If you scroll to the right and left, you'll see all the different fields that have been created. When you create tables, the view that you start in is up to you. You can get more done in design view, but the default way to start is just your standard table view. And this completes our lesson on how to work with tables in design view.